So Memorial Day is about to come up and for the last 12 years I've been going overseas to play for our servicemen and women that are still over there fighting every day and having to be over there for a presence for us. And it's just a great tour that uh, I've been part of and it's called the Wrangler National Patriot Tour. So the first tour I ever went to was in 2009 and it was a tour that I did on my own. We were over there for almost 30 days touring around Iraq, Kuwait, Kosovo and Afghanistan. So it was a great time. And we didn't get that one-on-one -on -one time that I'd hoped to. So when I came back, I heard that there was a Wrangler National Patriot Tour that was about to go out. So Wrangler reached out to me and said, hey man, we're doing a completely different kind of tour that we want you to go on. We don't want to be a big stage glitz and glam tour over there. We want you to put a guitar on your back. We're going to put you in a Blackhawk and we're going to fly you to all the FOBs, Ford operating bases that don't get to see entertainment. So it's not the big garrison bases, it's the little bases out in the front lines of the fight. So I was like, okay, I'd love to do that. And we went over in 2010 for the first time and been going over ever since. And it's been a great, great time. And we get to see some of the world that a lot of people will never get to see. But most importantly, is we get to look in the eyes of our servicemen and women and tell them thank you from the bottom of our heart and from everybody over here. It's a great tour that I'm very honored to be a part of. And I'm excited to go back again this year. There is one story that sticks out in my brain at the most and it was about two years ago we were in the embassy in Baghdad and we had just landed and uh, me and my guitar player Thomas Becker were just about to go on this little makeshift stage in the pavilion of the embassy and as soon as we were about to plug in our guitars the IED siren goes off which means there's a bomb about to come over the wall somewhere and nobody knows where it's going to come from. They have a kind of an idea but they don't know and there is a whole bunch of new recruits that were just off the plane from back home. Never been away from their home. This was the first time they were deployed overseas. And our, the siren's going off, and we still have our guitars on, and we're all running for a bunker. And me and Thomas are sitting in the bunker, and we still have our guitars on. All these men and women, servicemen and women around us, kind of with this look of what's happening. You know, this is their first experience as well. So we were like, you know what? We've got our guitars. Let's play a little song. So we started playing inside the bunker. If you listen really close, about halfway through the song, you hear a go off so the bomb did come over the wall but it, no one got injured which was fantastic but it was help it was great to be able to you know take those men and women out of their element for a little bit and help them get through that situation so I was I was happy to be there and happy to be a part of that moment <laughs>